Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this citrus juicer. Let's get started. Let's start out by creating a new component. And let's name this C Juicer. Click OK. Obviously, you can name it whatever you want. Let's go ahead and select the right view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's draw a series of lines. Let's start out with a horizontal line from the center point. We'll make this 30 millimeters. Another line from the center point vertically. And we'll make this about 65 millimeters. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the fit point spline tool. So create. And we'll go down to spline, fit point spline. We'll start at this point to this point. Let's close it off. Okay. <clears throat> let's go ahead and give this handle a vertical constraint all right use the dimension tool select this handle and make the angle from this handle to that side uh, line <clears throat> 69 degrees all right let's go ahead and give the handles some dimensions we'll make this 20 millimeters and we'll make this one 10 millimeters all right now the sketch is fully defined all right let's go ahead and finish the sketch let's use the revolve command so create okay revolve profile is already selected let's go ahead and choose the axis it's going to be the edge here operation is going to be new body click ok all right now we're going to stay on the right view, create another sketch, select a visible plane. All right. Let's draw a vertical correction of horizontal lines starting from the center point. We're going to make this 75 millimeters. All right. <clears throat> go ahead and create a vertical line connecting from this point. And let's go ahead and do it all. We'll add the dimensions later. Draw the profile as such. Let's add some dimensions. Make this 22 millimeters. Eight millimeters. And we'll make this five millimeters. Okay. All right. Now we'll do a non-standard practice. Uh, typically you'll add fillets uh, once you've uh, created a profile and actually start extruding. Uh, but we're going to do it inside of sketching. So we're going to add a fillet to this corner here. I'm going to make it four millimeters. I'm going to add a fillet to this corner here. I'm going to make that three millimeters. Okay. We're going to add a fillet to the bottom corner. And we're going to make that 15 millimeters. Okay. All right. Sketches are still fully defined. It's all black. Nothing moves around. Okay. Your warning should go away. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Now we're going to do some surface modeling. So select the surface tab. Select the surface revolve tool again. So create, revolve, and select this profile. The axis is going to be this axis right here in the center, vertically. All right. Click OK. And this is what you have. All right. Okay. What we want to do now is use the thicken tool. So we'll go stay on the surface tab, create, thicken, select this body we just created. All right. Click OK. All right. There you go. So what Fusion 360 did was create an additional body and it hid the surface body from view. So let's go ahead and go back to the solid tab. Okay. What we want to do is join these two bodies together. So use the combine tool. So we'll go to modify, combine, select this body, select that body. None of these are checked because we don't want a new component and we don't want to keep the tools and we want it to join. Click OK. All right. And it's one body now. Okay. It's all one body. 
Alrighty. Now let's go ahead and add some fillets. Choose the fillet command. And what we're gonna do is actually give, add a fillet here. We're gonna make it five millimeters. Click OK. We're gonna make all our fillets separate. We're not gonna join any of them together. And what we wanna do on this one is create a full round fillet. And so if you click here in the center, it should select both sides. That both sides should be highlighted blue. Click it and it'll select a round fillet. Okay. Click OK. All right. So now let's go ahead and select the right view again. Zoom out. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and create a series of sketch lines, uh, construction lines, to aid us in our next operation. So we create a sketch on the right plane. Revert position, obviously, because we don't want it to capture the position. We want to stay right where it is. Okay? All right. I'm going to use the line tool, make it a construction line. Okay? I'm going to start at this point here. All right. Actually, let's go ahead and use the project command because we want to capture information about the actual uh, body itself. Click OK. All right. So what we want to do is use the line tool, construction, start at the center point here and just bring it over about right there. All right. What we want to do now is use the dimension tool, select this point and the center point we want to dimension it to be about 10 millimeters from that point. All right. Let's go ahead and use the line command again. Construction is still selected. Let's drag this over. All right. There we have it. And that's what we need to do. And you'll see why in a second. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. All right. Now, let's go ahead. And let's select plane at angle. So construct plane at angle. We're going to select this previous line we chose. Select that. And we want it to be flat like that. Click OK. <clears throat> okay. Because we're going to use this plane to actually start creating the grooves. All right. Create a sketch on that plane we just created. All right. Now that we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and start creating a profile for the groups. All right. So we're going to use the line tool construction. Start at the center point. Bring it over until it's about 22 millimeters. All right. I'm going to use the line tool. Uncheck construction. Start at that point. Bring it over. Bring it down vertically. Snap it to the center. And there you go. Okay, it's closed. Let's add some dimensions. <clears throat> so we'll select this side, make this 15 millimeters. Use the equals command, select this edge and this edge. And now they're both equal. All right. And let's go ahead and make the angle between these two lines 110 millimeters. All right, now it's fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. All right. Let's rotate it around to the front view. All right. Now what we want to do is start adding the groove guide that's going to uh, basically give us the grooves. So go ahead and let's uh, create a sketch. Let's put it on the front plane. We're going to go ahead and use the project command again. We need some information for the outline of the actual body to guide us. So go ahead and select the line tool. I'm sorry, this fit point spline tool. Again, select this point down here. I'm going to go ahead and change the shading on this. All right. That was control eight, by the way. Select that point. Okay. Bring it up until it touches this line here and end it. All right. Now let's go ahead and add some dimensions. So from this point to this point, we want this to be about 2.5 millimeters. The angle from this handle to this line want it to be about 42 millimeters. Okay. And the angle from this handle to this line here, we want it to be about 85 
degrees. All right. Let's add some dimensions to the actual handles themselves. So we can lock it into place, make this 11 millimeters. And we'll make this one 14 millimeters. Okay. Finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and bring back our shading. Control six. All right. Now we have our guide. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the sweep command. Okay. So create sweep. It's going to be single path profile. It's going to be this uh, triangle here. The path is going to be the line we just created. Okay. All right. Click OK. All righty. Let's go ahead and add some fillets. Select the center line here. Actually, let's turn off full round fillet, make it a regular fillet. Select this line here, make it three millimeters. Click OK. All right. Again, like I said before, we could join these, but we're going to actually make them all separate to avoid confusion. Select the fillet command again. Select this edge here. OK. I'm going to make this six millimeters. All right, click OK. All right, and again, one final fillet. Fill it here, one millimeter. Click OK. All right, let's go ahead and clean up the uh, visuals. Remove that sketch. We'll actually turn it off, not remove it. OK, so what we want to do now is use the circular pattern tool. So we'll go uh, to create pattern, circular pattern. Type is going to be features. Select all of the features we just created beyond the sweep to command and select them all. Select axis. And again, we can select this axis here, or you could just simply select this line. All right. We want the, we want it to be about not 70. We want it to be about nine. Okay. We want the compute option to be identical and click. Okay. Give it some time to compute. Okay. And that's what you have. All right, so let's go ahead and create a sketch on this face here. Okay, just use a construction line. All right, and let's go ahead and connect it to this uh, point here. You'll see next, and it's both connected. Let's give it a vertical constraint. Let's make it coin this line coincident with the center point. And now it's fully defined. Let's go ahead, turn off construction, center rectangle tool, drag it down until you see a triangle and an X. And it's directly in the center of that line. Wait for it to, the X to appear to snap onto the circle below it. Okay. All right. And let's dimension this to be about two millimeters in width. All right. It's fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. All right, let's go ahead and use the extrude command. So create, extrude. Okay, click the profile, select the bottom, and it'll cut right through. Make sure I press set to cut, click OK. All right, now let's add a fillet to that profile we just created. At these four corners. We're gonna make it 0.5 millimeters. All right, click OK. All righty. Now let's go ahead and use the circular pattern command again. Pattern, circular pattern, features, the extrusion, and the actual fillet we just created. Select axis. This axis here, we're going to make 70 of these. Computer option is going to be set to identical. Click OK. All right. Hit control four so we can see it without the actual edges. It's coming along nicely. All right. Last but not least, let's go ahead and get ready to render this. But before we do that, let's add some color. And a material. So what I used was plastic translucent glossy. And I, I'll just go ahead and double click on it. Well, I'll just drag it over. And I'll double click on it. And you guys can see what the parameters are. Okay. All righty. Close this out. Just go to the render tab. 
All right. Click on in canvas render. Roughness 0 0.05. Focal length 200. Depth of field. Let's try 0 0.03. Okay. We'll put it right here. All righty. Let's go ahead and play around with the lights a little bit. Direction of the lighting. And there you have it, your citrus juicer. Well, I hope you enjoyed this exercise about creating a citrus juicer. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.